Hey, how you guys doing? Back again with another video. Two boy black crypto. Big zoo. <laughs> I just want to say everything in this video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor by any means. Everything in here is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Make sure you always do your own research before you go into anything or go into any kind of investments or any kind of NFTs because this video is going to be about NFTs. What are NFTs? Because I know a lot of people don't understand what are NFTs, especially a lot of my friends that I, you know, talk to from time to time, especially Big Dookie. But I hope I can uh, give you a little understanding of what NFTs are so you can get a you know, a little bit, a little bit more info after this video. So an NFT is a non fungible token, which cannot be replicated and can be, you know, you could prove that you own it on the blockchain. So for example, if you, if you would own like a, an image, you'd be able to verify that because you can prove your ownership over the blockchain. And what typically could be an NFT? So NFTs range from images to videos. It could be anything. It can even be a tweet. It could be anything, you know, as long as you could uh, verify you own it on the blockchain, it could, it could become an NFT. That is really nice. Because, you know, before this, I don't think it would have been easy to prove that you owned a few things on the internet because people could just easily copy, paste, steal, you know, do all that kind of stuff. But now with the blockchain technology that we have at the moment, we can verify that you own certain stuff on the internet. That is insane. That is crazy. And um, I'd like to go over a few things that, um, that could determine whether or not the NFTs that you'd want to pick up are valuable or not. And you would want to just like um, use this as a base. I'm not saying that this is set in stone, that these are the characteristics that you should be looking for. No, I'm just saying that this is probably the best place to start. And then you can go from here and they can be many more things that you'd want to include before you decide whether or not you want to buy these NFTs. So I'm just going to give you a few key pointers that you should be looking at so that you can uh, determine whether or not you want to buy an NFT or not. And um, the first thing would be community. How big is a community around that NFT project? Are they really interested into it or are they just trying to get some quick flips, you know? And by doing that, you can join the Discord servers, the Telegram groups around this NFT projects and get a sense of what people are saying about the project and how they feel about it. Because, you know, typically an NFT project with around 10,000 or 8,000 pieces would be more popular compared to an NFT project with around five to two pieces. You get me? So, you know, more people would be talking if there's more NFTs to be, you know, distributed, you know, amongst people or to be owned among people compared to a project with only like one or two NFTs. That would be a little tricky. Really, really tricky. Really, really tricky. So you want to you want to really be uh, be really, really careful when you pick these NFT projects because they're really, really illiquid. If you want to get out of it, do you, it's going to be really tough if there's no one you can uh, you can sell it to. The second thing that I want to touch on is utility. What kind of utility does your NFT that you want to buy have? When I say utility, I mean like use cases. So some NFT projects have different types of perks that you could get if you hold the NFT. And they're totally different from NFT to NFT. So you have to look into them, dig deep, go into their websites and read about these uh, these NFT projects. So you know what you're getting if you're going to be holding the NFT for a long, long time. I'd like to give an example of one project called CyberKongs. 
Cyberconf. This was launched recently. And they have uh, a really good utility that I want to touch on, and it's uh, about the yielding aspect. So if you were lucky to mint or to buy a Genesis Cyberkong, you'd be able to get some of the perks that are listed here. But the favorite one that I really like personally is yielding 10 bananas every day. So if you hold Cyberkongs in your, in your wallet, you, you're getting 10 bananas every day just by holding this NFT. This is crazy. And this banana token, the price of one banana token at the moment is 35 bucks. So you're getting 10 banana tokens every day just by holding one NFT. That's insane. That's why you always got to make sure you look at the use cases of these NFTs that you decide to buy and see if they're worth it or not to hold. And if you if you want to look at the flow price of these NFTs at the moment, the flow price the flow price of this is around four point seven Ethereum. That's crazy, and we all know what the price of Ethereum is at the moment. Let me see if I can uh, I can get it. Yeah, the price of Ethereum right now is roughly three thousand. Yeah, so if if you'd want to get your hands on one of these NFTs right now, they'll be roughly three times four. That's around 12, 13,000. Crazy. Really crazy. This is insane. And this is just the beginning. So you always want to make sure you go through, you go through these NFTs and see what kind of use cases and utilities that they have if you're going to hold it in your, in your wallet for a long term, you know, depending on what you want, depending on why you want the NFT. This is, this is really, really nice. And the um, the third thing that I wanted to say was the uh, the artist or the creator who is creating these NFTs, or who is the artist behind this NFT? You know, for example, Beeple. If it's Beeple creating it, the NFT is probably going to be really valuable compared compared to somebody randomly just creating an NFT. You know, if I made an NFT and if Beeple made an NFT, his NFTs would probably be more valuable than me because he's already a um, established artist in the community. So you always want to look at the people as well who are creating these NFTs too as a, as a criteria if you want to buy it or not, because then it will determine whether or not if it's going to be valuable long term or not. That's really, really key. Really, really key. And that would kind of like be the, um, the base foundation. I'm not saying that these uh, criteria are do or die and these are set in stone they can vary and the, you can you, and you can literally just start from here and then there's totally a lot more things that you, you could you'd want to consider but this is a really good place to start from and also the last thing that i want to say is that you you want to at least like the nft but like at bare minimum because even if if the price goes to zero you actually like what you bought you know, because, you know, unless if you're a trader, then that's a different story because <laughs> you just want to flip it quickly, get a profit and get out. But if you're going to buy an NFT, you want to actually like it before you decide to put your money in it. Because even if the money, even if the price of it or the flow price of the NFT goes to zero, you actually like what you bought. So you're not sitting there with a with a fucking JPEG that you don't really fucking like. If you understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah, and that's that's about it about NFTs, man. I hope you guys have fun buying NFTs. Just stay safe, trade safe. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, if you enjoy the content that I put out, I have a playlist up here in the top right corner so you can uh, check out more content like this. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.